kind of played like we thought they would play. Uh, they're very disciplined with their bigs. Um, pounded inside, so it's a big interior defensive game. Um, I thought that uh, Jackson did a heck of a job on Washburn. It's one of the bigger threes uh, next to Price, and thought he did a claim back tonight and was, was excellent. Uh, Justin Rappin, I thought he did a really good job uh, defensively and offensively. But I thought, I thought his activity, uh, he was big. Uh, um, but we needed a little bit more interior defensively, and um, we, didn't, we didn't get quite enough. Uh, on the other side, um, we knew they would put a big guard on cue. Uh, our execution wasn't great. Um, guys impatient. Not, not setting up the picks, coming off the picks good enough. So it's on us. We got to make sure that they execute better. And so we'll continue to work execution. But one of the things that we're trying to teach the guys and it's just understanding the difference in playing, playing well and uh, winning games. It's a fine line. Fine line to winning games. You know, games right there on the line. We go with a high risk law play. We get a transition play where we should get out of the worst two free throws. And we miss a lay and miss a follow and get a foul. Uh, so it ends up being a four-point play the other way. Um, those, are, those, are, those are the plays that kill you. Then you give up a free throw, miss free throw rebound, similar to the one we gave up against West Kentucky. No, that's that's been big. Um, you know, we look at points in the paint. If you just look at points in the paint each night, um, we're getting outscored in the paint. But the reality is, we're getting just as many shots in the paint. Our guards are getting into the paint. Um, sometimes our bigs are getting the ball in there and not finishing. And so what happens is, because we're not making those lays puts a little bit more pressure on the threes. And we haven't been making a lot of layups lately, and so we haven't shot the three ball good either. What, what, what's with that? You know, because at, at this level, yeah. you know, is it, is it just in guys' heads? Is it? Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think the level, uh, level of your competition. As I said earlier, um, you know, you look at the games, and we played some good teams uh, earlier, but you know, we played some teams. I, I said coming in here that it's some really good teams, and they got size, they could test, uh, so it forces our guys to do more. But it's, it becomes a chain reaction when you're pressing, trying to get a win, and you're pressing, trying to make shots, um, and you don't. And you just got to trust your work, trust your preparation, and concentrate and go in there, or go in there and initiate some contact. And uh, see, can you finish or get to the free throw line? Um, you, on the bright side, it, it, seems, it seems like your roster is finally starting to get healthy for the first time uh, since the beginning of the season. Um, could, could Parrish possibly be brought in because guys could stand in and out of the line so much lately? Yeah, probably fall in the excuse category. So it's good to see guys healthy because they get a chance to play and they worked hard. and. Uh, as I said before with Jackson, he's a glue guy, so it's always good to get him out there. Uh, Justin is playing as good as he's played as he's getting his win. Uh, uh, we got him high in minutes today, 37. Uh, but double-double, uh, was, he was really good. He's, he, I think he showed the last couple of games as he's starting to round into it uh, that he's uh, been healthy as a uh, – big force in, in this league. So, um, you know, but when you have chances to win games, we we get a stop, one-on-one, -on -one, don't get the rebound. Get a stop, uh, steal, uh, a rebound throw, uh, throw out, one-on-one -on -one going down, don't get a score. So, regardless, we have, we have opportunities. 
Uh, you just got to continue to work and get better. Um, you know, but you know, I thought what, what the guys did, as I told them, we not can't fault them as far as competing, but it's still another level you have to go to to be, to be um, successful winning. And we just can, we got to continue to get better. Well, what do you tell the guys there? Because you, you know, 55, 54, 45 seconds left. You grab that rebound. You have a two on one heading the other way, uh, and, and just don't convert. What, what do you tell them in that when you have one of the best teams in the conference on the ropes like that? Same thing we do when first drills we do in practice every day, full court shooting off the dribble, but Coach Snow calls different moves out. Same thing. You one on one, you you attack. You read him, and then you attack the rim. We attack it under contact. Same thing, one on one. You score. You got to get foul and our basket. Uh, coach uh, Jackie Trapp is uh, with him from uh, CJC. Uh, why was he uh, missing from that game? And how did that bring him back? Kind of change the game plan situation. Well, he hurt his foot right before uh, Charlotte, so he missed the last three prior to tonight. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, he's still in some pain, uh, but, you know, it's an injury that it's, it's as much as he can tolerate, he can play. He's probably one of the toughest guys I've been around. So uh, he goes out there, and, you know, last practice he had was Wednesday before Charlotte shoot around. So he had pra last practice he had was uh, eight days ago, and he came out. <laughs> and you know, I know his numbers don't look great, but I thought he played great. Coach, with, 30, with 30 seconds left in the game, uh, actually a minute left in the game, you guys being down a point, what could have been the turning point for you guys to win this tonight? Well, it comes down to um, getting stops, you know, getting the, getting the rebounds. Um, you know, getting a good shot on the other end. Um, that's what it comes. Get a good, you want you got to take good shots in at down the stretch so that you can have good floor balance. Uh, but we had, like I said, we had turnover, a missed layup, foul following on the missed layup, um, gave up offense, two offensive rebounds. No, I don't know. We have 20 hours a week, uh, so we use them all up. <laughs> I don't know. We can work more on offensive execution, but we do every day. Um, we just got to keep doing it. Uh, I don't think there's nothing we, we can add differently. Uh, we put our time, split the time up, offensive execution, you know, defensive. Uh, I thought we was prepared for their trap, and which impressed, which has been causing us problems. I think we broke a couple of times early. Uh, I think they stayed away from it, uh, so that was that was good. Um, thought we was able to get guys in base. You know, thought we did a good job tonight, being able to try to sneak Javi in and get him in. He didn't make any shots, but he's a shooter for us. You know, that's what his he can't come in and be a lockdown post defender, a lockdown perimeter defender. He's a shooter. He missed open shots tonight. I wish he'd have took another one. Uh, I don't have no problem with guys missing shots. Uh, I have more problems with the 13 turnovers than I do to miss open shots or a bad shot, which is to us a turnover too. You mentioned Javi. He's, I mean, he's come into the fold lately. What, what was, you know, how, what did he bring? What was with the minutes that he's getting? Uh, what, what does that add to the team, and, and why was that? He's a very good shooter. Uh, as a stretch four, especially uh, sometimes at the three, depending on the matchup, he gives us size. I don't know if you all realize, but we probably got the smallest backcourt in the league. So uh, we need size so that we can rebound. Um, and he helps us on the offensive end. He opens up the floor uh, for Justin and CJ to be able to play. Um, you know, so uh, just he has a skill set, and as a coach and as a staff, we try to figure out a way to use his skill set with his size and. He's knocked down some big shots for us, uh, for some of our wins, uh, and you know, I, I don't, I don't really, like I said, I don't fault him. I thought he battled tonight. Um, he missed some shots, but 
I was, I was pleased with that. Ran one more play, sort of the same play we ran at uh, East Kentucky at the end of the game, and he popped. I thought he had that shot and didn't take it. Uh, so, but I'd rather him take it. Coach, how about the schedule? You know, you had that strange 12-day gap, yeah. and now you play four games in a week. It, it looked to me like, you know, basketball, as we all know, is a game of legs. It looked like down the stretch your guys were a little bit fatigued with some practice. That falls on the excuse category. <laughs> they knew the schedule when we took the 12 days off. Uh, unfortunately, you won't want the schedule to be that way, but it is what it is, and we knew it was that going to be that. Um, like I say, it's one of the things we got to get better and continue to build uh, as we're building how we want to play and how we want to represent uh, this program. Uh, we got to be tough physically and tough mentally. Like I said, Jackson Trap missed the last eight days. And shoot around today was the first time he really ran on his foot. Uh, he didn't seem too fatigued.